SMT Nation, we back. Nation, AT&T had a major outage. Now there's ongoing investigations and litigation in regards to the matter. Let's talk about that here in today's video. Link for the article that inspired this video and content will be provided in the description. Ways to support us. You guys can like and share this content. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an upload from the SMT. Link for the article down in the description gives us all our details that we require. All right, so AT&T's nationwide outage, it wasn't nationwide as in the, like it impacted every person in the country, uh, but it was extensive and it impacted a lot of people. And now the New York Attorney General, her name is Letitia James. She has made content here on the channel before. She's been a topic of discussion as one of the obstacles to the clearing and approval of the T-Mobile and Sprint merger. Uh, she was one of the opposition parties to the proposed merger that eventually got cleared and it made its way through um, you know regulations and such uh, she did a pretty bad job of fighting for protections and the outcome of the merger she just resisted it with no potential concessions uh, requested or demanded um, and and from what i could tell she doesn't really seem to be effective as whatever she does i i don't know what she does uh, she just seems to stand in the way of anything that i would consider winning or progress of the folks of new york but anyways it's not really the purpose of this and i don't really do politics but she is uh on behalf of her office investigating the cause of at&t's wireless network outage and the incident that you know we saw over the course of the last week uh in a statement prepared by her she stated nationwide outages are not just an inconvenience they can be dangerous and it's critical that we protect consumers when an outage occurs so it got me to thinking about the scale of this outage, right? And AT&T's culpability here. She's right. It's more than just an inconvenience. It's something major. It's, it's definitely a safety issue. But it got me thinking, what could someone like her with her power, right? And the power she wields as, you know, New York. I mean, just the, the size, the scale, the influence, the politic, uh, the political side of this, right? What could she do to maybe improve things for folks of her state and, and just the country in general, I think she could push for preventative and mitigation measures. Maybe work with the FCC and the office of, of the FCC to propose, develop, and install fallback measures for when these networks do go down. There is a way that you know folks who are AT&T customers, if, if services are not restored within a certain time frame, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 minutes, an hour, whatever, they could have calling and texting over another network, right? So like Verizon or T-Mobile in this case. I really think this this is an, a, a big opportunity to kind of push this in the industry forward in this respect. If we know what attorney generals do, right? Or attorneys general do, they're supposed to fight for the people. This would be the opportunity. I don't really see her doing this. She doesn't seem like, that type of uh of a leader she doesn't seem like that type of an innovator she doesn't seem like that type of creative uh to me i think she's just probably looking to sue at&t uh, as opposed to finding resolution solutions fixes you know stuff that would matter and be perennial things that would push the industry forward and actually help people i don't think she's that type of person personally but i think it's worth the considerations i wonder if there is a leader out there somewhere that might somehow, some way, get a hold of this video and think to themselves, how can we make things better in the future? This is a painful reminder that outages will never stop. Outages will happen from time to time, but we should have answers and solutions for these issues when they do arise. What do you guys think about the purpose, the mission, or the objective of this investigation? Do you think it's in 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 you think it's got good intentions or do you think it's just to sue AT&T? Do you think there'll be good outcomes from it or is it a nothing burger? Tell me and respond to my statement of maybe leadership can start to push the industry forward in a way that could actually lead to change in my proposal. What do you think about it? Maybe you got a better plan. Maybe you got an opposing argument or perspective. Sound off in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.